Hello everyone, welcome back to Shanti Finance. Today's tutorial is not so much as how to paint this or how to paint that. It is about uh, how to use masking fluid. So obviously it is going to be much shorter than my usual painting tutorial videos. But I think this is a very effective um, thing or very useful thing to know how to use masking fluid if you want to paint in watercolors. I use this uh, with a Newton art masking fluid but any other brand works as well and uh, I am not paid to or promote this particular brand it's just my personal preference that I've always seen used um, before I go on and show how I use it let me show uh, share with you a few key things about uh, paint uh, using masking fluid first of all um, if you see the bottle whenever you have not used it for a while there is a yellow fluid that settle, settles at the bottom so just swirl it gently and make sure all that yellow is mixed with the white otherwise if they separate out your uh, masking fluid may not work as well um, second thing once you put the masking fluid in the desired areas do let it dry completely before you start painting otherwise the effort is useless third very important thing and I have learned from my mistakes is that use a heavyweight very good quality watercolor paper if you intend to use masking fluid otherwise when you pull out the masking fluid which you will see in this video because I've used a very cheap watercolor paper very lightweight watercolor paper to demonstrate how to use it you will see that when I'm pulling out the masking fluid the paper also comes out which is obviously going to ruin your painting completely so use good quality heavyweight watercolor paper I would suggest something like 140 pounds whether hot press or cold press so those are the very important things about masking fluid and the last thing before I go ahead and show you how to use it is that do not leave the masking fluid for days or even like very many hours once you are done um, please remove the masking fluid otherwise it tends to grip too much on the paper and that could also damage your paper when you actually take it off and uh, do not use very sharp objects to uh, rip your uh, or take out your masking fluid because that could damage the paper and your painting I hope you find this uh, video really useful to use for all your watercolor um, projects in future and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you do not subscribe then you do not know what is coming up and what is going on in my YouTube world so there is a button handy dandy right there do hit it and subscribe as I start applying masking fluid it is important to mix the contents of the bottle very well like I just mentioned in the introduction otherwise uh, it will not work out fine and then you just dip your paintbrush in your uh, masking fluid and apply it just like you would apply paint apply a little bit thickly and carefully so that all the areas that you want to cover and keep it white is covered and let the masking fluid dry completely before you apply paint otherwise it will not work now I'm applying paint very sloppily because this is not an artwork I just want to sh demonstrate how to use the masking fluid once you apply paint you have to again let the paint dry completely and then you can slowly scrape off the masking fluid now I have used very cheap lightweight paper here and you can see that the paper is coming off with the masking fluid so when you use masking fluid please use good quality heavyweight paper otherwise it can damage the tooth of paper and your purpose will not be resolved and be careful be very gentle while picking out pieces you can also uh, use the back of a blunt brush or any kind of blunt instrument that would not damage the tooth of the paper to remove the masking fluid and do it as soon as possible as soon as the paint is dried otherwise sometimes it sticks too much and it just becomes hard to remove um, and be 
prepare that the paintbrush that you're using to apply uh, masking fluid uh, just just use for this purpose because the paintbrush would be damaged um, mostly so that's another word of caution and there you can see that it pretty much uh, works